Hello everyone. Probably just for blockchain, I'm ready to change the sign of Odessa and the sea and come to Kyiv. We are engaged, let's say, there are not only commercial activities but also the popularization of technology. Because we believe in it, it has a lot of time, effort and energy and believe that, yes, uh, this at uh, the future of evolutionary development of many things in society, in the economy and technology. So, today such a report will be a combination one. Let's talk about how the blockchain technology can come to us in reality, how it already comes to us and our projects, and how we translate it as if in public. So, does it work? Yep. Something about me. I was originally engaged in science in the field of education, worked, and later came into the technology business. Initially, I worked at the company SBM, and uh, by the feel of fate, got into IoT a startup that was engaged in remote sensing of the Earth and analyzing images from drones and various spectra, soil analysis, and so on. It was such a system where it's complicated. Here it was uh, not the first experience with IoT solutions with hardware, but this one is already quite dense. Now I'm there, turned between the two companies. There's a company for a two solutions, which is engaged in R&D, that, that is research and development in the field of blockchain. We develop custom blockchains. We work with various platforms, we develop dApps, we find various ways to use the blockchain, and also I'm a CTO RAM. Here is the first support from Sasha Momot. Together with him, uh, we are building a bright future public key infrastructure, a distributed public key management system, by the way. My main expertise is uh, R&D, discovering new applications for the blockchain, this product development and launching a business together with our customers and partners and our internal projects. Well, this is a risk management project when uh, you came uh, all bad and after a while you hope that everything will be better. Now the company has two main branches. There's uh, essentially the questions you can ask me. If some people are interested in you on the blockchain and the Internet of Things and something and at the junction of these two directions, I'll be happy to answer out. and our team is also ready to reward time to those who are interested in technology. We are completely open. We are engaged not only in development, as I said, also in studies in Odessa, and on the base of the Kyiv Academy. The Mahila Academy, we are building such a research hub. That's fun and interesting because the question of the task with which you work in the blockchain, they inevitably lead to the need for fundamental knowledge and expertise. Engineering skills are enough to solve those challenges, to respond to those challenges there in the projects. And let's talk today about everything uh, and simple re at the Internet of Things. Anyway, we are already fully integrated. Through the following devices, smart and not so smart, through mobile smartphones, we are integrating the ecosystem that is constantly evolving. Who was engaged with hardware related to this? This development of something real, iron, not only software. But because I understand that generally, who considers himself to be a software developer? That's a big part. Who was engaged in hardware? There are the solid Arduino microcontrollers. In general, you know how interesting it is, but it hurts. Because when you read software and fix a bug, it's quite simple. But when you're in hardware, an easy mistake can lead to unavoidable fixes and completely put an end to the project. Much higher cost of error. This is a bright future for IoT. We'll be living it, who is engaged in MDA development. 
And in fact, we came as a company and it came to IoT before the blockchain and got some kind of expertise and understanding how the technology stack works in this direction. By 2025, it is predicted to be exponential growth in traffic which generate the Internet of Things, which means communication in the network of some devices that exchange information genera generates a certain network value for network users and economically we go out on some new level of services. If we follow the evolution of the IoT solution, then it was such a move from centralized solutions with a single data collection node to decentralized systems and the fully distributed peer-to-peer -peer systems, which already suggests that the blockchain technology may overlay a certain layer in synergy. The Internet of Things is full of predictability and uh, the, in essence, as far as security aspects, as for the scalability aspect, they are much more serious than traditional software development. One of the tasks that need to be addressed in IoT networks is data constancy and ensuring that all devices are essentially communicated within a single certain protocol and generate data that is consistently consistent, which you can work, analyze, and this is essentially core value of any Internet of Things. This is data that in general this network. This network uh, resiliency for various reasons, primarily technical. Well, these are hacking attacks on these devices. The well-known unfortunate incidents connected with an attack on uh, one of the largest DNS operators. A uh, botnet network was built based on devices that were defaulted these passwords out of the box. A network was built and this operator was attacked. Literally for the whole day a bunch of services lay down just for this reason. It was one of the biggest attacks on the Internet of Things, but everyone saw that what was predicted by experts about the fact that there are 80% of the network was not predicted in any way, then we saw it explicitly. Well, one more fact was connected with the fact that the region in Amazon were fell and a whole bunch of smart devices, such as smart locks, various smart home devices. They just stopped having access to the servers and people could not get home, open the doors and everything has set. All this showed the bottleneck of these systems which is a single point of failure. What is the blockchain uh, and how? It fits into the whole story which we briefly talked about. Blockchain is now the blockchain we are united. But if we are talking about technologies that are associated with blockchain, it's more correct to say that there's a distributed ledger technology, a distributed registry technology. One of the particular cases of which is the blockchain. Not everything that the distributed system is a blockchain, but all the blockchain is a distributed system. The first property is understandable, is a distribution of the nodes of this network. The blockchain also acts as a kind of transactional protocol, where the transaction for recording certain data acts as an atomic entity. But these data are not recorded in any arbitrary way, but on the basis of the rules of this network, which are called consensus. In different blockchain systems and distributed systems, different consensus. If there is a Bitcoin, if it's proof of work, if it's other, then there is a mixed system, and there's a many algorithm for achieving consensus. And a very important feature of blockchain systems is that they work where there is initially no trust between the nodes. But now we can understand this device or there are people alive. Initially, we have a distrust. We can resolve the distrust between the participants by a certain third party in the form of a certain charge. 
the who will resolve the dispute. And the blockchains or all this third party is performed by such a distributed abstract entity as a consensus algorithm. Therefore, since we are all somehow connected with the development of code, we know that the code can always be trusted, especially his. Therefore, in this case, we are moving away from such a notion of a third party, but it requires such an amorphous abstract essence in the form of consensus, which is an incorruptible judge of how the network will work. Many say that blockchain is database, and in many cases, they try to write anything to this database. In fact, it's destructive, because storing the blockchain just data, any data, is very expensive and not scalable. For this, it's better to use traditional repositories if we're talking about data in the general sense of the world. Blockchain is intended primarily for storage, so I call it Genesis Data. Data on the origin of something. If you want to accurately determine the source of certain information, then using the blockchain technology, this problem can be solved. The second type of data, which fits unorganically, fits unorganically with the storage model on blockchain, is semantic data. Data on the connections between different nodes and network states. Well, the third is the metadata. The data from the data. Moreover, if you use blockchain as storage, then you should understand that the value of this data should be so high that you sacrifice scalability, speed, and other points and move from centralized storage to distributed storage. This is a non trivial, in fact, technical problem. The blockchain theme, I think that if you put a country here, how many times does the word blockchain sound in this environment? And in general, in the community now, it's just that the word is being pulled from all sides. And in fact, nothing in this is so unusual. This technology lived with us long before it took shape in the form of such strict protocols as Bitcoin platform, platform, Bitcoin and so on and other projects. That's essentially the technological stack itself traditionally based, developed along with the pass from centralized server solutions to NDC, when we have layers to certain clustered systems and we came to microservice architecture when our application runs distributed across the network. It's clear that it's impossible to draw analogies with the blockchain because but it's already a distributed system that it's a kind of analog of DLT. And the one who worked with Git, in fact, worked with distributed various technology, in fact, because the Git himself was naturally from the very beginning. Uh, uh, it had a concept similar to how blockchain works. CoreOS is. Uh, has anyone worked with Docker CoreOS? This is a cluster system. And the, and the core OS, one of the parts is uh, distributed storage in order to store distributed databases in the config. And in fact, works is based on the consensus of Raft, which is also used in a number of blockchain and crypto projects. On the one hand, it's a simple algorithm. On the other hand, it provides in small networks and cluster systems a sufficient level of fault tolerance reliability. But nevertheless, it's not recommended for use in public blockchains. We experiment personally with Raft and public blockchains without modifying Raft does not work well. In private blockchains with limited numbers of nodes, permission blockchains, this consensus fits into the solution of problems. Well, blockchain is like DNA. In fact, DNA is an analog of certain blockchain. Many living organisms and systems are built on the basis of it, and therefore, to say that blockchain is a kind of innovation, that fell from the sky, and no one really know. 
about it correctly. We have worked with this in one form or another for a long time. It just took shape here in such a building system and is now available to us as developers in the form of technology of final tools. What gives the blockchain? What values does it carry? Blockchain is a distributed system that is, has a number of excellent characteristics about data mutability, data immutability and the ability to implement what is not available in centralized platforms. This is such a mechanism as smart contracts or the analog of other blockchains where the term smart contracts is not used. And in fact, having the blockchain technology and the smart contract, we were able to operate these smart assets. Initially, if we worked with fiat currencies, the dollar, the participants in the economy, relations themselves in fact set the model for these relationships. Crypto tokens or cryptocurrency initially have the intelligence, in fact, seen into the program code, implemented through the program code. The token itself can set the parameters of the behavior of the subjects of this relations economy. And on the basis of this, it is possible to obtain fairly not trivial results than the form of fully automated system that work there is minimal human intervention. Well, a new type of assets, crypto assets, cryptocurrency, this is a new stage in the development of not just technology, but approaches to building economy and social systems according to a distributed type. One of the examples is the DAO system. There are discussions and experiments about whether an organization can exist as a classical DAO. Many moments are not yet ready, organization are legal for this, but nevertheless, everything is moving along the path that the companies of the organizational structure are becoming more and more flat. And as a matter of fact, here is a blockchain technology it can provide thanks to its properties. The solution of such tasks as data transfer and ensuring trust between participants. When participants initially do not trust personalization, identification of these data and values in general in the broad sense of the word in the network. And monetization of these data. Well, we reward network members for creating this value. All these tasks can be solved by the blockchain with proper design of these systems. What does the blockchain like IoT carry? This is a new type of data repository of the state of this network. There is an opportunity to build a new type of infrastructure for managing public case of identification and authentication and authorization of device access to the network functionality. And this is the construction of systems based on such a model as a sharing economy, when each node, each network member shares the value that it has and at the same time receives a reward for this value. It may be in the future a network of robots that generate a certain value of services and sell these services to each other, pay for these services. For example, one of the cases is the charging of the robot, one robot by another robot, the transfer of such value. There is already an aero project with which we also worked in several areas that create a platform for the economics of robots. This is not the future anymore, this is already real implemented in software. Well, in the second part of the report I would like to talk specifically about cases. This all theory, this is good, but how does all this look in practice? The first project is not blockchain, this is a gray what is briefly told. This is initially an analytic system that works there at the interface computer vision technology that analysis and is classic IoT solution. 
This project is not developing the independently. Even it seems like it was transferred to another company. Initially, we launched this project and in fact, it then went free swimming. There were a number of tests that were not solved within the framework of the traditional approaches of software. It's already clear that economic models could be built on the basis of the organization of these processes. It's an analytical system that is used with the help of drones, or machine technology and the main application is the agricultural sector. The next big area we are in simply we are in the supply chain management, supply chains, there are a number of projects and blockchains. The supply chain is basically impossible without the Internet of Things because it's necessary to fully automate the production chain. Delivering goods to the customer is all a system of sensors, various sensors and other smart devices. The first product is initially our first experiment. This is a platform that allows you to build an already system for weighing heavy loads on railway transport. There's the problem of metal theft when it's transported from point A to point B. The problem is that by gaining access to weighing equipment, it's possible to perform various manipulations with them. In this case, blockchain plays the role of such system for logging everything that happens with this weighing device. Well, the analysis of the procedure, the weighing and preservation of the state of this procedure, the analysis of calibration, weighing equipment, the analysis of, for example, for change of nodes in this equipment. In this case, blockchain acts as a repository for consistent information. This is one of the cases. The second case is the Rose project. A Swiss company that is developing an automation protocol for a complete cycle of the production and supply chain. Well, IoT here plays only a single role. This project uses a Ethereum platform at the moment but there are ideas for switching to our custom blockchain. Research is underway. This solution allows you to fully guarantee the quality and other characteristics of the goods you buy. It could be from food, some kind of coffee. You want to know that this is specifically coffee which is delivered to you specifically from the Congo, for example. And you know that you get coffee of this quality. When it comes to food, it's not so critical. But as for pharmaceuticals, for example, tablets, uh, taking drugs, the level of counterfeit is quite high, at least in Ukraine. Statistics show that from 30 to 50% of certain drugs are fake. So it's very critical. In order to build such a system of trust, it's necessary to fully automate the production process from the start to the receipt of raw materials. Before these raw materials become finished products, how they will be transported, under what conditions they will be stored, and will go directly to the final consumer. All this is solved on the basis of production automation systems and blockchain technology, which again performs supply chain data stores. And, of course, you can enter into transactions for the supplier of products from the supplier to the consumer of the basis of smart contracts. If all the conditions of the transaction are met, the consumer receives the goods and pays the supplier.
проект. A project to manage identity and access to various systems. По управлению идентификацией и доступом к различным системам. This nice direction which the blockchain fits in organically. The first project is one of our experiments. This a KYC solution that allows you to identify a user for a certain of a certain blockchain platform, a cryptograph, and so on based on data that originally belongs to a person, this fingerprint. Keeping fingerprint information and mapping this data with personal data, we can build a data registry that identifies, personalize the owner for example, of some wallet on which assets are stored. Every say where this application is specific, these are institutional players, where it's necessary not only to be anonymous, but to act as an understandable subject of operations that takes place there on the institutional market for the exchange of assets, including cryptocurrency assets. The RAM project, which you have already heard at the start, here is the first report related to more tokens of the economy, which I and the team and Kiev and Odessa are distributed to develop the economy token. Consensus in RAM, but we will talk more about technical things, how it all looks like a solution. Well, RAM is a protocol for providing distributed identification and access to various platforms based on such an entity as a key, a private key and a public key pair. And RAM serves as a protocol for building the infrastructure for managing such keys. But the peculiarity of this infrastructure is that, unlike traditional system, we don't have a single point of failure and, uh, as such, of course, the point of trust in the usual sense. But we sound it, but it's called point of trust. And in this case, this point of trust is the consensus which essentially defines. Well, it reads information about the created key and the blockchain and subsequently is a verifier of the use of this key by the owner. Well, all operations are public only with public part of the information, the public key in the open form. The private key is always stored on the client. A client can be a user or a device in the context of an IT solution. And architecturally, it looks like a distributed system where the certification authority, if we are talking about a protocol with SSL, TLS, an understandable standard, uses a consensus, a distributed system. <coughs> The platform is being developed based on Hyperledger framework. We have our own custom consensus, which we are currently experimenting. It's an alpha version. As a consensus, we close. As a consensus, we choose after much research after Gara. This consensus has such a remarkable property as the absence of a single clearly defined leader. This reduces the risk of attacks that are common of uh, other BFT algorithms. Well, those who solve the problem of the Byzantine generals. We built our economy token model, which is built on the basis of a master system, which are those validators and entities that write key data to the network and subsequently provide information for owner verification when this key owner wants to get access to some system. We have inside, we are building our custom blockchain and it's clear that we also have an economy token which is based on the ERC20 standard token and so we work between two blockchains. 
токена стандарта ERC20. Поэтому у нас... Это блокчейн и блокчейн, и кастом блокчейн, и билл на базе of, of Tooth. At this moment, several integration services have already been implemented. This elaborate is for web authentication and uh, elaborate for user on devices. Well, the implementation of the protocol for YouTube will literally take two or three months and a specific project will appear where it will be used. Now the first project that used our IoT technology is Aira. IoT is uh, one of the projects in development of this solution. Project Prometheus is an internal project of our company. You can experiment with it. Here is a stand that the entrance can anyone see. So this is a system that emulates a supply chain and works on imaging technology. This is a private blockchain and we plan to use Proxima as distributed storage for the data generated by devices. Blockchain in this case acts as a platform for providing so-called aggregated transactions. Each signer of this transaction is a member of the supply chain. It could be some kind of control, it could be a career, it could be distributors who accept goods and of course it is a supplier and the customer there. This is approximately the architecture of this solution, a conceptual scheme. The project is also built on the basis of sensors and gateways in the form of Arduino bridges and Raspberry as a hardware solution of a certain server node that collects data from the components of this solution and sends data to the server and sends anchoring of transaction status hashes to the mid-gene blockchain. Promptly the interface looks so scary. In the near future it will look more attractive. Well, we were at the state of the supply chain and blockchain those ensuring that no one can change the data of the chain without it being known at all to all participants. And if a miracle occurs and uh, an aggregated transaction takes place, then assets from the consumer's wallet to the supplier's account address are released accordingly. The next version will appear on the blockchain UA, so I will slightly open a little build. September 14, I invite everyone to the blockchain UA. There will be a Prometheus stand, it's next version. You can test how blockchain is used in real life, literally fill him their hands. Despite the fact that the blockchain is cool, there is a new technology, but you need to understand that when designing systems you will encounter a number of inevitable challenges in the form that this is a rather complex architectural and conceptual solution, where the cost of an error in design can exceed tens of hundreds of times, an error that may occur in traditional software. Because you write to the blockchain and change the state of the blockchain by definition is impossible. This is a very expensive solution in terms of its operation and often any software. It somehow solves some kind of business problem. And the blockchain as a technology, including as a crypto technology, does not fit in the many existing legislative systems. Therefore, so far, this all exists in a large sense in experimental form. But these are such children's mistakes that we as developers face. There is raw software and the absence of any clear SDK with which you can work to which we are accustomed to in, in traditional systems. Nevertheless, it all evolves. Summing up, we can say that blockchain 
is a DNA that allows you to provide a layer in the future and breathe into life all that iron, which is called the Internet of Things. And the blockchain is a protocol for IT X, including a protocol for transferring values between network participants. Due to this, you can get a non-trivial result in the form of software that completely changes the attitude to the construction of social and economic processes. This is the next level of automation due to the fact that most of the communication with the software is made in the form of program code. This is transparency, this trust out the box. By definition, and this is the possibility of building new business models, new monetization models, getting them out of the box. What was not there before? I invite you also in a week to a technical workshop here of developers. Eugene is an uh, architect to them. He will talk about how to work with Sawtooth in Hyperledger. Pavel will talk about how to work with Medjin, specifically here is experience in Prometheus. And let's talk more about use. Therefore, who is interested in this technical part. In the blockchain hub, such an event will take place. Thanks at all. If you have questions on some project, we'll be happy to answer. Thanks so very much, Roma. Are there any questions? We have literally 5-10 minutes there. Can I get back to the slide with the prints quickly? There was a QRC somewhere or here. Stop. Go ahead. Here, I do not quite understand. This implies that it's hashed into SHA-256 or what happens. If it uh, turns out that when a person applies the wallet for identification, it's not the own 100% he that is supposed to be in the hash that works under 99, 90, it might be. The decision determines the person. How did you work with this problem? Yes, this problem was and but the existing algorithm make it possible to work out in essence an image that will be, as it were, identified with a person, with his finger. Despite how you put this finger and in this way, based on the recognition algorithm, we can build a model that will be mastered in any case, no matter how you use your finger. So you collect a set of several prints and something in between output then hash and then do disassemble yes understood thank any more questions i think not thanks again ron for the report спасибо всем кто сегодня пришел за то что пришли за то что досидели до самого конца Thank you.